hi welcome to another video um, in this video I'm gonna show you how to allocate bank transactions once your bank feed is successfully connected um, I've got a sample here for one of my client so I'm gonna show you a few transactions how to allocate them so to make sure that life is so easy for you uh, before I proceed with the video I'm just gonna quickly say that I have my TK bookkeeping practice based in Darwin but still I can help you across Australia um, we are specialized in my zero and QuickBooks as of now we've got uh, an amazing offer that's going um, we have complete tutorials for you for free and then one year free one-on-one -on -one consultation anytime and then we fix uh, your accounting errors bank reconciliation we do the GST lodgement FBT um, every quarter we review accounts and at the end of the financial year we take a look at all the accounts and if there is any issues needs to be fixed I can fix it all for you and you pass on to your tax accountant to get the taxes lodged so we could we are offering that pro, um, service for just $500 for one year free service so I don't think anyone else in the market offers that plus I am a tax agent so if you are looking for any tax advice tax planning in advance I'm there for you anytime so yeah let's just get back onto the video um, I'll show you how to allocate the transactions so so this is your this is how your dashboard will look like so you go on to um, banking bank transactions this is one way you could come or else you could go on to unallocated transactions so here we have few transactions so I'm going to allocate these transactions while with you so so this is one of uh, employee payments so um so how employee payments work is generally when we process the pay runs there, there's two general entries one is uh, wages account debit and then wages payable account credit so instead of wages payable i post it onto electronic clearing account and then there is a credit in electronic clearing so when we actually make the payment we will credit the bank and then we debit the electronic clearing so the electronic clearing is set off and it is zero it has to be zero so these payments I'm just making payments saying that it is paid so that's um, electronic clearing again so this is um, she taking the the owner taking money out so this is um, drawings and then again we've got an employee and then yeah again employee they, they have about six to seven employees uh, they're running a restaurant so I'm just managing their books electronic clearing Pacific Beach I'm not sure we need to check this with the client and again electronic clearing North Lakes my so this is protective clothing and we've got yes a land Queensland so I need to check that as well um, this is the loan payments that she is making to loan on their capital and this is uh, consumables she's running a restaurant so so all the food stuff um, some of them are GST some of them are not GST so we do work it out but for this purpose I'm making it fast again consumables and uh, yeah this one again we need to check with the client and this 15,000 here is rent um, yeah so these three transactions um, every fortnight or every month I check with the client and then I allocate them correctly so it was it's it's this easy so how the journal entries work is so these are all bank all the withdrawals is credit entry so automatically system post the credit and then whatever that you've selected is the debit so rent debit this credit consumables debit bank credit consumables debit bank credit likewise so loan is always increasing in the in a negative side so you're reducing the loan so you're crediting the bank and debiting the loan account likewise so yeah so this is what we do so if you have any questions any interesting stuff I'm more than happy to look at it and help you so yeah I'll see you on the next video on uh, bank reconciliation and that's an interesting one so we find a lot of errors and undeposited transactions and things like that so i really like to do bank reconciliation so i look forward for the next video and i'll see you there thank you